All right, people, so this is a quick video on how to log into your PLTW account. Um, I'm on a Chromebook right now, and you go to myPLTW.org. Uh, this works best on Google Chrome. Weird things happen if you're on a different browser. Um, but if you're on your Chromebook, no big deal, because that's what you have. It takes you to this page, and you'll notice if, you're, if you've been on PLTW class before, um, there used to be a thing you had to click that said, I am a student, and it was just very confusing. So I'm glad they fixed this. So you'll get your username uh, from your teacher. You can choose if you want to have it remember you or not. And then after you click next, it'll ask you for your password. Um, and then you can click remember me again, and then you'll log in. Um, it's that easy, and hopefully you keep your username and password in a couple uh, safe locations so you don't get blocked out, because sometimes if people save that they've been on, um, they kind of lose their thing. While we're in here, I'll show you a little something. You don't have all these options, because I'm a teacher edition here and you're a student, but you will have a courses button. And if you're in mo more than one course... Um, You'll have to pick which one. And then, um, you know, so if you're in cybersecurity, you'll click courses and then cybersecurity or computer science A or any of the um, engineering courses. So go ahead and do that. And then, you know, pick the class you want, maybe pr principles of engineering. I'll open that up and it'll have all my. All my classes here are all the lessons on the left here that I can go into. So if I was working on 1.1.2, I'll go there and look at the simple machine practice problems. Something else that's cool is if you see on the upper right, you can print these pages if there's like a bunch of problems 